I am going against my nature. What is that? I put cocoa lime, like a coconut lime smell all throughout the house. I, I like, like that smell. I changed out the Scentsy Stay, but it's not a holiday. It's not a holiday smell. I don't know if it's allowed to stay. I'm not sure, but I was just feeling a little, I don't know, sweet and sour. I was feeling a little limey today. I like all the lime and lemon smells. I do too, because it associate. It, I associate it with clean, but I'm like, it's not Christmas though. Hey, what's up family? I'm Rachel. And I'm Joe. And we are Two, two Crazy, Crazy Ketos. Ketos. And if you're new to our channel, welcome. Here on Two Crazy Ketos, we do different things like recipe videos and we do product reviews. We talk about various keto topics and then every Monday, we go live on Keto on the Couch. We just kind of talk about what's going on in our lives for the week. You can find us in different social media platforms like Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And we have a website, which is twocrazyketos.com, and that's where you're going to find all of our different recipes. Now we do upload at least five new videos every single week, so make sure you subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to hit the little bell icon in that way every single time we got gingerbread in our coffee. This is the new keto chow. That, yeah, so I made coffee, no butter today. I did um, oh one egg split between the two of us and a serving of the new gingerbread flavor keto chow. Well, now I've got to change out all the Scentsy. How am I going to be having like <laughs> Christmas drink with like tropical smell? Well, people are curious. Like, I think it tastes amazing in coffee. I mean, that is good. I like uh, gingerbread coffee though. I mean, you used to buy the bags of gingerbread coffee. I do, but I put so much like just garbage in it that I don't know if I authentically ever tasted anything. And the thing, egg, I know it sounds so weird. It does sound Trust weird. Trust me. Speaking of eggs, we got a lot of eggs. Try it. Well, Rachel's, I'm here, we're eating breakfast. I've got two eggs and some bacon. Rachel's got five eggs, but these are the baby's eggs because Aww. they're in their beginning stages of developing eggs. So, Grandma's your five eggs are out probably the baby's really eggs. equivalent to three eggs. Okay. So, I mean, if you look, I have two eggs and you had, you had four eggs. I think. No, no, you had five. You just ate the fifth one, right? And, but they were like, they're like a quarter of the size. They're so sweet. But I'm not going to like let them go to waste. No, and they're trying so hard. So back to, yeah, try the egg and the coffee. It adds so much creaminess. Amazing. We were just doing butter and then, you know, sometimes I do butter and sometimes I do egg. egg. There is such a difference when you add that egg in. Like, I'll give Rachel coffee that just has butter, and she's like, it's good. But it's not, but... like, there's not a thickness to it. There's a richness that the egg adds. Yeah. And again, it, it. I know it sounds gross. People message us all the time, like, butter sounds gross. Like, I'm on bbb and &E and I'm used to, like, two or three tablespoons of heavy whipping cream in my coffee. What do I do? I'm like, just, just use try butter. It. Well, here's a, even if you don't do the egg, think about this. Butter is just heavy whipping cream that's been churned. So it's the same thing. It mm -hmm. just sounds weird. It does. I like the salted butter in our coffee, but you can use unsalted and then you literally just have heavy whipping cream that you're melting out. It's like on Keto on the Couch, we had somebody um, message about the bidet and like, Rachel, give it a chance. It was because they were watching a video right. when I was still in the mm-mm yeah. mode. Yeah, because you were like, no, no, this I was is a like, waste of money. I was like a hard pass on that for a long time. And I was a hard pass on it for a long time with the, with egg. the egg and the coffee. I, You know, I never want to admit when Joe is right, <laughs> but when it comes to food stuff, you're right a lot. Thank you. Tabitha is over there enjoying the bone from that chuck roast. She is loving that. I think she is enjoying the fact that we bought a cow more than we are. We thought we were excited, but she's like, oh my gosh, I'm, I'm getting having fresh bones. Fresh they still bones. Have meat on them, some blood on them. She's enjoying it. Speaking of which, are we about to get a visitor across oh, yeah. the screen? Dun, there dun, we go. Dun, 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 dun. Stay out of the water. Before you do that, I did want to mention. Mm -hmm. So I went to Costco yesterday because we brought food to our friends that had a baby. And we had felt bad because, you know, during the gift exchange, the blanket that she won or unwrapped got stolen from her, and then they got it back, and then it got stolen again. She ended up with no blanket, and we were like, you really- That baby's getting a blanket. You're stealing a, ba a blanket from a baby. So we ran to Costco and bought a blanket. It turned out to be the same one, too. That was it, the really yeah. cool part. And then I'm going through Costco, and I'm like, okay, well- 
I'm gonna get Rachel some Nespresso's to start off with. I thought that was exciting. So, you know, I got her an espresso machine. It's supposed to be for Christmas, only she came home to see it sitting there. Because no so box. Surprise got ruined. So I bought these. Don't make this mistake. These were on sale, which is why I bought them. $7 off. It's for the old style Nespresso machine. Oh, no. So now these got to go back. I was wondering, like, oh, like they're never on sale anywhere. I'm sorry. And these were on sale. So, yeah, if you, if you have the old Nespresso machine, $7 off at Costco. That's great. But if you don't have them, don't buy this one because now I got to make another trip back to Costco. Good morning, Tabitha. Good morning. How are you doing? She's good. She's she on just like, wants to say hello. She's on like fifth breakfast. I know. She's just like, hey, I want to eat more food. And she does the Labrador sigh, which convinces us every time. It's like, <sighs> and I'm like, you're dissatisfied. What can I do? Right. She plays that button, like, a lot. Can you get down, baby? She's like, no, I love you. You love me? Aw, my baby. Mm. I know, you're only allowed to lick me. Okay, get down. Get down. She knows. Good I don't. Girl. I don't like to get, like, licked in the face a lot. I said get down. You're going to say hello? Okay, well, Mommy and I are going to exchange gifts. Here All right. you go. Here you go. Let's see. You want to help? Oh, I got to mark my advent calendar behind my head. Ooh, I got me some new lipstick. Is this a hint? Well, I mean, you, no, <laughs> I, I'm not saying you're dry or anything, but like I thought, you know, that would be good for like a massage or whatever. Like I said, a hint, Shoulder like, massage. hey, I'd like a back massage. Is I, that no, what this is? No, no, this is fully for you. Oh, uh, also fully you're going to give me a back massage. That's right. Okay. That's right. Do and you I, like your lipstick? I do. This, talk about like, this is a Joe color though. Oh yeah, I love I mean, you that in red. is red. And you never want to get yourself like fancier lipstick. No, this You're is like, L'Oreal. You're like, what do they have in the, like, two for one in the dollar store? Well, I stopped shopping at the Dollar Tree. Because it's a dollar twenty-five? Well, no, for the, no, I still shop at the Dollar Tree. <laughs> but I stopped getting lipstick there because my friend Beth, who's in our Facebook family group, got, like, uh, her lips, like, got really infected and, like, inflamed and stuff. She had, like, an allergic reaction or something to something going on in a Dollar Tree lipstick. So I was like, whoa, I don't no want more. that. No more for me. Well, uh, today is the calm before the storm. Mm -hmm. So we're going to eat. I got a couple things to do. We got some, some videos work. to edit. Yep. I have a recipe video I want us to make. Okay. And then in the afternoon, we're going to kind of take a date afternoon. And relax a little bit. Maybe take back that, the Starbucks pods. Take that back. But after that, We've got 12 days of everyday live streaming. Mm -hmm. We have a, a new curriculum starting. Lots of... We have the, the gift shop at church. Lots of community volunteering. We're going away for a day with John Paul and Michelle. We're going to go see Jenny go dock diving. Michelle's graduating from college. Yeah, that's all in the next 12 days. Yeah. So today, calm before the storm. We're going to enjoy the day. With bacon. Rachel's hard at work on kids' oh, ministry. Oh my gosh, I'm trying to organize everything. <laughs> and I'm like, did I just mess up? Because that stresses me out so much. Look at Tabitha. She's like, I'm, there's stuff on all of my couches. I'm resorted to the chair and I don't fit in the chair. Oh, what's wrong, Tabitha? Is all the kids' ministry all over the couches that you like to lay on? You want to say hi? Tabitha. Good girl. Here you go, a little lunchtime snack. Oh, yum. So we need to go to Costco. Don't go on an empty stomach. <laughs> Make sure that you actually eat before you go shopping. So we had a bunch of hot dogs left over from the camping trip, and I don't want them to go to waste. I love a hot, a hot dog is like a fried egg to me. I can eat it any time. And like Dr. Barry said, you can do keto on hot dogs and mustard. I need mustard. Are you ready? I am. We have to go to Costco and return these guys because apparently they're selling them for the, the old thing. We've got to go to the post office and drop off some stuff. And if we happen to find a Christmas tablecloth, I will not be upset. Why is every cabinet and drawer open? Well, this is a Rachel belt and Rachel's shoes. Too sparkly? Oh. It's Christmas time. <laughs> I don't know about Christmas time, but... Oh, and you got the hat, too. You're wearing yeah. a sparkly hat. 
It's interesting as we walk through Costco and we're just going up and down aisles just to have fun. Because that's like my favorite. Day time. Yeah. But I'm realizing how much money we save since going on keto when we come to Costco. Because we used to come here and everything they're sampling, we're going to buy. Every oh, that looks interesting. snack. Right? It and wasn't even regular food. It was junk and we knew it then. And now we just kind of walk through. Nope, not buying that. Nope, not buying that. We're walking out of here with like three things and none of them are food related. So we got home from Costco and we're going to have burgers for dinner. I pulled these out of the freezer. These are some burgers that I prepared a while ago. We have like jalapenos, cheddar, a little bit of goat cheese in them. We're going to throw them on the Kamado Joe Jr. on the soapstone and cook them real quick. So we got the Kamado Joe Jr. here. We're going to go ahead and put a little bit of avocado oil on there and check the temperature and we are at about 600 degrees on the soapstone so ready to put the burgers on so put this one on over here and put another one over here and here and this one should just fit so let these cook for a couple minutes, flip them over, and they'll be cooked. Oh, look at that go. Did you have a good premiere? <laughs> it was awesome. This was a fun one. I get excited if I like something in a vlog that we have that I feel is just like a, a little extra special. And I really like the music that you picked for when we were kayaking. And so it's kind of like, you know, a bopping kind of music. And I was picturing all of our friends, like perhaps bopping to the music as well. So I don't know, that just makes it fun. Cause I get excited thinking, oh, they're about to hear something I think they'll like. Really? I like this shirt. There's just no way that I'm not going to get something on it. Thank you, Brianna. Uh, it's time for dinner. Here's what we're having. We each have Two burgers, Yum. they're, I don't know, somewhere between a third and a half pound. And then we topped it with a little bit of our keto chow chili that we like meal prepped the other day. That was smart. And uh, one of us, there's three jalapeno burgers and one- I with, got a jalapeno. Well, one of these burgers, and I'm not quite sure which one, is like a cheese, like blue cheese and stuff. Ooh. So let me see what's in this one. That's- Jalapeno. jalapeno. I'm letting all the juices out of my burgers. Sorry. I feel like you got the, the blue cheese one. That's, That's a jalapeno. jalapeno. Okay. So one of yours is blue cheese, which is what my intention was. Thank you. And uh, these are cooked perfect. They're, they're they really like a are. perfect medium, medium rare. Nice and juicy. And I really like the crust on top. Yeah. So I cooked it on a soapstone. So the soapstone gives it that crust. You just have to get it really hot. It's like cast iron. Mm -hmm. What I like about soapstone on a grill over cast iron is it doesn't rust. You you treat it just like cast iron. You can wash it, but basically you put it on there and then when you're done, you kind of scrape off whatever's on there. Next time you light the grill, just flip it over. It'll burn it all off, but you don't have to constantly wash it or anything like that. Only again, it doesn't rust. So I like that for outside much better than cast iron. This keto chow chili is the absolute best condiment. Mm -hmm. Just the best. It's so good. I got I got a boo-boo. I was working really? outside. Oh and no. I cut myself. It's fine. It's not bleeding. I just like scraped off the outside of the skin. Mm. But yeah, I'm excited about this. That chili is amazing. I wanted to show you guys something. So when we were in Costco, we decided to go up and down every aisle. And I found these. These are vacuum sealing bags. We use our vacuum sealer a lot. all the time, especially when we buy meat. Like if we buy pork belly, if we're buying like, you know, bacon or something like that, or if we're making bacon from our pork belly, we love to vacuum seal everything. Well, the regular bags are expensive. So a lot of times I go yeah. on Amazon and buy them. Well, they had this and you know it's the same exact ones. Oh, of course. You know it's the same thing, only it's the Kirkland brand. Even down to like what's in it, like three rolls of eight by eight inch by 20, four rolls of 11 by 16, 50 pre-cut bags. Don't you love the pre-cut ones? This one actually gave you an extra roll of the 11 by 16 bags. But here's the thing, it was half the price. Half the price. They had the half. other brand sitting right there for $40 and this one was $21.
And there's really not a big difference, especially if you're just freezing stuff. I totally missed that deal because I was spending all my time in the middle section looking at baby Grogu for like $15, I think it was. That was like a great deal. I also, every time I turned around, caught you looking at fleece again. I don't know what your obsession with fleece is. I don't know either. We are going to eat. You're going to premiere the vacation vlog. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link for it up here. It that was one was so really good. good. A lot of fun. And then afterwards, I have a surprise for you before we wrap up the vlog. Okay. Are you ready for your surprise? Yes. Okay, you got to come on the patio with me. Okay. Tabitha was in the pool again. I can tell by the wet footprints all through the house. <laughs> you ready? Yeah. Come on. It smells like, are you smoking some meat? It smells like smoke. <gasps> Is that a fire? Joe. Joe. This is so awesome, Joe. What made you think of this? This is gonna remind me of our camping trip every single day. Well, I bought it on Cyber Monday. It was 30% off. And uh, this is called the Solo Stove. They actually have three different like models for backyards. This is the middle one. There's one that's really big and there's one that's really small. But what's cool about these is you they're portable. You can bring them anywhere. People bring them camping for places that don't wow. allow fire pits but it's got a ring on the bottom. So you could literally put this on grass and it will not burn the grass or anything. Yeah, it's really, I love this thing. I'm really excited about it. And I'll leave a link for it down below. We're not affiliated with them, but I'm in love with this thing already. And I just figured, you know, you love our campfires. I love campfires. And one of the things about this is they say they're smoke free. They're not really smoke free. They're less smoke. So, you know, a lot of times you have a campfire and you get all that smoke. Once you get this thing going, there's not much smoke. And I also bought the flame arrester so that like the sparks that may be flying That's up, That's it'll stop sometimes. the sparks and stuff. The sparks come from the type of wood. So this is juniper wood that we're burning right now, which has like an aromatic smell. I thought it but smelled But it does like... pop. So do you like it? I love it so much. Well, here's the thing. This was actually a birthday present to myself. Okay. But I bought it with the intention of a birthday present to myself to give to you. Aww. For sort of Christmas. I was going to wait until Christmas, but I figure we don't get a lot of cold nights. No. You want to enjoy as many of the cool nights. Like tonight, it's going to be 66 degrees. So I want us to be able to enjoy a fire. Yes. And so we can have a little bit of a date night here. Maybe we can go in the hot tub. I love this idea. So I think we should do that tonight since, you know, tonight is like one one of our relaxing together nights. Yeah. Let's go ahead and close out this vlog and just enjoy the fire. Maybe get into, you know, the hot tub or something like that. So if you like seeing videos like this, take a look at some of the videos that we have linked right over there. Also, make sure you take a look at our most recent video, which I'm gonna put right over here. But whether you head this way or you head this way, don't forget to head this way. Subscribe to our channel and click the little bell icon and that way every single time we have a campfire at home, you'll be alerted to it. Till next time. Bye. Bye.